What's up, everybody? It's your boy C3, and we are back with another comic book video. This is going to be a very extravagant unboxing, as I just got some boxes in the mail that I've been waiting on for quite some time. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'd like to do unboxings. Every now and again, I'll do a comic book haul because I do still like to purchase my modern comics. Um, but you know that I'm also known for dropping some of the hottest on the secondary market. So make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out. All right? We got some pieces in the mail. I'm also going to show you a CGC book that I picked up. Um, I got some things that I grabbed while I was down in Texas, and I'm going to share that with you as well. All right. So again, you know the routine. Check your nonsense at the door because over here, it's good vibes only. Go grab your vibe juice and let's do what we do. Let's check out these hot comics. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's nothing but good vibes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off by popping open this baby right here. So, cue the music, but keep your clothes on. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get into this baby without hurting anything. Split it here and there. As you can see, I got me a new blade extremely sharp, so I want to make sure I'm being careful, because I definitely don't want to hurt myself or the book. All right, pierce these corners, show them some love. Now, this is how she came, all right, looks nice and safe. Got some wrapping paper in there. Peel that out. Sit it right here. And here, we have the book. Okay. I think I might keep that box and reuse it. <laughs> nah, ain't no shame in my game, baby. Definitely might reuse that. Let's see, we flip this. Oh, yes, comic book family, we have struck gold, or should I say silver, <laughs> we have struck silver, all right, guys, just give me a second, let me get her out of here, she's, she's wrapped up pretty secure. Okay, a couple more pieces. Let's see if we go this route. We'll get her out if we do it like that. Nope. Get some more room. This should let her out nice and safe. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have the amazing new adventures of Superman, issue number one, and this is Kryptonite No More. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about having this, man. Oh, yeah, man. I've been I've been working on my DC, uh, DC part of my collection on the low. Really been keeping it to myself. But I've been trying to grab DC Grills. Um, why the, the, the getting is good, man. These these books are not costing a lot of money at the moment, so you can get your hands on a nice copy. Yeah, so definitely pay attention to what's going on on the secondary market with DC because these keys are affordable now, and I've been wanting this one for quite some time, man. And this is a great copy that I got my hands on. Nice, vibrant colors. Beautiful. I'm super happy to have it. Oh man, I can't wait to take it out, bag and board it, rebag and board it, just to smell it, you know, and just thumb through it. And 
I got to give it a quick read before I put her back away. But yeah, man, I'm happy to have this one in the collection. This one is super dope. All right. Yes. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this book right here? I'm in love with it. So let me know what you think. All right. Absolutely. We're going to keep the show moving. We're going to pop open another box. All right. Yeah, that one was hot. I definitely like that one. Yeah, man, that's got me excited. All right, so now we're going to pop this baby open. Same rules apply. <laughs> Cue the music. But keep your clothes on. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for stopping by checking out the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I hope you enjoy this little unboxing. If you stick around to the end, I'll take some time and show you some comics that I picked up over the last couple of months, a couple of weeks. Show you what I've been up to. And thank you guys for supporting me on that last video. It did really well. Oh, and let me give you the answer to that last question. That last video, the question was, who did Jubilee see as a mother figure? <laughs> yo, you guys killed me, yo. When, yo, somebody said Wolverine. I bust out laughing, man. But nah, it's not Wolverine. No, and it's not even Storm. Actually, the person who she saw as a mother figure was the White Queen. But I really appreciate you guys participating in that little trivia, man, because I get a big kick out of it. But yeah, it was the White Queen. And make sure you check out the next video when we drop the Hot 10 list, because we have fun all the time, man. Like, it's just a good vibe over there. It's a real good vibe. Everybody's sipping their vibe juice, enjoying the hobby together. To me, there's nothing better. All right? So, this one came open fairly simple. It's full of snow. I love it when boxes come like this. All right? So, I'm going to dig around in here, see what we got. Okay. We got this that I'm going to read over. So I'm going to set that right here. And then, oh, yes, baby. <laughs> yeah, and one of, one of the reasons I have such a good time with scouring the market and putting together these top 10 lists for you guys is because I'm sharing with you not just what's hot and what's not, what's trending, what's high, what's low, but I'm also sharing with you comics that I myself am on the lookout for. So I'm not just trying to get you to buy comics. That's not the reason for the channel. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I do. I'm sharing with you my love of the hobby, taking you on a journey with me as I continue to collect and build my PC. Yes. And I love what I do, man. I enjoy the hobby. I enjoy sharing it with you guys. Man, it, 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 it's, it's a purpose that I wouldn't trade for anything else. I just wanted to dig around in the snow to make sure I don't throw anything good away. <laughs> you know, every now and again, somebody may want to throw you an extra comment because you spent some money with them. So you just want to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show you what came in that box. All right. And we're going to do it like this. I'm going to start off up here, and then I'm going to slowly bring it down. All right? <laughs> Yo, I'm so psyched about this book. You see it. <laughs> All right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have our Batman issue number 423, <laughs> Batman issue number 423, the Todd McFarlane cover that I've been raving so much about in the past three or four months. It finally got here. I winded up copying myself an 8.0, got it for a really nice price. Don't care if it's not a 9.8. I do not. <laughs> I really don't. Nope. I'm happy at the fact that I got my hands on my book. That's all I care about. Yes. Batman, issue number 423. She's a beauty. 
Yeah, man. Even prettier in person. Yeah, she is. She pretty. <laughs> Newsstand. Right? Happy about that. Yep. First print. Happy about that. I'm just happy. Yes. I love it. I love it. Batman issue number 423, DC Comics. Beautiful. Jim Starlin story. Dave Cockrum. Dave Cockrum. And Mike DiCarlo on the art. And Todd McFarlane on the cover. It's official tissue, ladies and gentlemen. I finally got it. So this is going in part of my, my, my slab uh, PC collection. Yes. Low grade is better than no grade, my friends. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> Love it. It's awesome. Batman 423, guys, is in the building. It's good vibes only. I hope you're enjoying the show. All right? So I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to set this over here. And I'm going to keep moving along, spend a little time, show you some pieces that I picked up. I grabbed this while I was down in Texas visiting my family. Um, I wanted to get this. This is just a beautiful cover, just a beautiful comic book, classic. Thought I might grab it. Got it for a really nice price. This is The Punisher. This is issue number two. Called a beautiful copy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely one for the PC. Right? Classic cover on that one. I also grabbed She-Hawk issue number one. Caught that for a good price. Yep, this is going in the art collection. Absolutely. Absolutely. Show you what else I got. We have to go into the bag here. Actually, let's go into this one. Let's open this up. Show you what we got. Not all of these are bag and boarded. So I hope that's okay. I hope you guys don't mind. I grabbed uh, Harley Quinn, and this is issue number 33. This looks like some Del Otto artwork. Or is this Perillo? Who's on this? Oh, I think this is Perillo. This may be Luci Lu Lucio Perillo. Leave a comment down in the comment section, but I think that's Perillo, if you guys are aware. Very nice, Harley. We got Thor. We got Amazing Spider-Man issue number 36. I can't wait to pop this into my light. We got some Art Adams goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Hot cover alert. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Hot cover, baby. Coming through, R. Adams, Black Cat, loving it, loving it. I believe that's the one in 25. One of my favorite characters by Todd McFarlane. We got Gunslinger Spawn. This is issue number 25. The Gunslinger. We have another cover. I believe this is the B cover. Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 25. Yes. These have to be bag and boarded. I'm going to read them, then I'll bag and board them. And I got me some My Life. Set those over there. All right. Next up. You guys know how much I love my yellow covers. 
So I made sure to grab that sensational She-Hulk issue number one. And this is the Scotty Young variant. Yellow cover, baby. Beautiful. Yeah. If you guys have been with the show, you know I love my yellow covers. That's definitely one for the collection. I grabbed the John Tyler Christopher, and this is, uh, is this Captain Marvel? I believe this is Captain Marvel. What issue? This is issue number one. Yep, Captain Marvel, issue number one. The JTC negative space variant. Grab that. Yeah! <laughs> yes, I did. Shout out to all you guys who've been with the channel from day one, man, who continue to support and just show love, man, because that's all it's about. We're here for the love of the hobby. I know I haven't gotten so big that I can't reach back and say, what up to my boy One Shot? What up to Biggie Shaq? What up to Comic Hat 84? Peace to my boy Rod the Reekin over there at Just the Reekin and his comics. John's comic with kids. My boy over there with the train wreck. Make sure you say what up to the old wolf. Like, these are the people that who I used to watch before I started really, really getting into the doing video aspect of it. Got a lot of respect for these guys. They're really stand-up characters. Uh, my boy Perry, the little homie Dylan. Dylan, you suck. Well, he switched up a little bit, but he's still my guy. Dylan, appreciate you, man. All you guys, man, that stuck with the channel. Immortal Biggie Shack, if I didn't say your name, you know I love you, homie. It's all good in the hood, baby. All right? If you don't know those guys, go look for those channels, man. Those guys are dope. Yes, they are. All right? Here's another one. We got Harriet Tubman. Devil Slayer. This is issue number two. I grabbed a couple of these. I actually have issue number one and issue number two now, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. Definitely going to go ahead and read it so I can see what it's about. Shout out to my boy Jigs Kingdom also. Respect. You guys know I'm a big Penguin fan, so I got Penguin. This is issue number three, and this is a uh, Gabrielle Del Otto variant right here. Another favorite artist. Very nice. Gabriel Del Otto. Love his artwork. Super dope. Man, I just don't think they give Penguin the respect that he deserves. We've had so many Batman, Joker movies. Like, we need to get the Penguin in there one time. A real good, strong Penguin movie to where he can shine the way he needs to. Right? And last but not least, coming from that stack, we got Marvel Zombies, issue number one. With that zombie cover. I think that's fire. Definitely. Definitely fire. All right. We're going to go into this bag of tricks. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you guys want me to do more videos like this. It ain't no fun if the comic book community can't have one. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so we're going further back. This is Harriet Tubman, and this is the Demon Slayer, and this is issue number one to that book that I just showed you. Yeah, so I think this is real dope. Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. All right. We got more Gunslinger. This is 24. Gunslinger Spawn. We got the Virgin variant. We got World's Finest, Batman, Superman, World's Finest, issue number 19. We got Superman with the Nicolas Cage joint, man. Man, I would love to have Nick sign this, bro. That would be dope. World's Finest. <laughs> Cut. 
Man. That was lucky. We almost dropped it. That would have broke my heart. Hey, we got some Libra Bermijo that we got to talk about. This is Dawn of DC. This is issue number six. Tell me this cover ain't lit. Man, listen. Beautiful. Beautiful artwork. And you have to know that those bars ain't nothing for Superman. Yet. All right, we got Predator versus Wolverine, issue number one. And we got that homage cover. This is the homage. Yeah. Nicely done. Makes a lot of sense, too. Very nicely done. We've got Strange Academy, Moon Knight. This is issue number one. You guys know I'm a big Moon Knight fan. Been a Strange Academy fan, so I've been picking up all these one shots. Yep, order them. Order them off eBay. And last but not least, we have Star Wars Dark Droids D Squad. This is the one where uh, R2 gets his own squad. I think that's super dope. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the show. I gotta go. That's all I got for you right now. But make sure you stay tuned for the hot comic book list. The hot 10 list is on the way. So don't miss out. Like, subscribe, even share the video. It really helps us out a lot. If this is your first time stopping by checking out the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Because the next list I drop, you're definitely not going to want to miss it. All right? You know what I always say. Don't hate, congratulate. Show some love. Because that don't cost you nothing. But no matter what you do, all day, every day, keep it comics. <laughs> Later, Gators. It's good vibes only. You know what it is.